Hi everyone, it's AJ, the Mobile Club Maker. Thanks for watching this video. This is just gonna be a quick tip video, uh, basically based off of the video we just finished about ferals. If you have any questions about ferals, I suggest you watch that feral video. We cover everything from how to pick them, to how to install them, to how to finish them. I also talked in that video, however, about what you need. And one of the things I said you don't need is a belt sander. Uh, if you have a belt sander, by all means, use it if you feel comfortable with it, but you don't need one and you shouldn't feel like you need to get one in order to turn down ferals and have them look professional. So I'm gonna show you right now how quickly you can go and turn down a feral with just handheld tools, no belt sander needed. I'm gonna go through this basically moving at shop speed the way I would be moving if I wasn't talking to you on camera, and we'll just see how long it takes. You can time it yourself, see how long it takes to get from start to finish. We've got a pretty good lip on this ferrule, so we're gonna take this, sand it down, get it nice and smooth, shine it back up, and we'll see how long that takes. So let's go. I'm gonna go ahead, put my glove on right now and away we go. I'm gonna start with the medium grit sandpaper. Okay, turn it 90 degrees. Okay, turn it 90 degrees. Okay, turn it 90 degrees one more time. We've gone all the way around it now. Okay, go ahead, feel it. That feels nice and smooth all the way around. We're gonna switch to our fine grit finishing sanding paper. Okay. Turn it. Okay, turn it. Okay, turn it. Okay, go ahead and feel it. There's a little bit of an edge right there still. Let me take that down just a little more. Okay. Take it out of the vise. As you can see here, got it all nice, smooth, and level between the edge of the ferrule and the edge of the hosel. So now we just need to shine it up again. We'll go spray a little bit of grip solvent on a piece of paper towel to help us get that shine back at the end. Set that aside for a minute. Get our acetone on the towel, separate towel, different towel, not the same one you put the uh, grip solvent on. And now we're just gonna wipe in the opposite direction. Remember we did our sanding going across the ferrule, so now we're gonna go up and down, or I just go up, really, the ferrule with the acetone. I'll go all the way around a couple times. You see all that material it takes off. I'm gonna move to a slightly different part of the towel a little cleaner part, and real gently go around one more time. Just real gentle. You don't want to push down too hard because you might push that towel into the ferrule too much and leave some of the texture from the towel in the ferrule design, which is not what you want. Then switch over to our grip solvent soaked paper towel. Give it a little spin, a little buffing here. And that's it. Look at that. Nice shiny, feral, all the way around, nice and smooth. And how long did that take? Probably took a couple minutes at most. So there you go. Like I said, if you have a belt sander, great, go ahead and use it. But if you don't, I've just shown here, I don't use one, I don't think you need it. It's definitely not necessary to get a professional result. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, or subscribe to our channel. We're gonna be putting out a lot more videos Please join us again. Until next time, keep it in the short grass.